Hi, this is Nathan from Little Matador, and you're listening to Junction 11 Radio. You're all from previous bands, so for the listeners, who's who and what band are you from? Um, I'm Nathan, um, and I play guitar in Snow Patrol. And I'm Dave, and I play guitar in Love Fire. Guitars around then? Yeah. Okay. And um, could you sum up the sound of your new band in three words? Yep, Dirty Sexy Rock. Nice. Nice, you got you gonna stick with that too? Uh rock sexy dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow that one sounds worse. worse. Yeah. yeah. I think cool. I prefer his. Sorry. Yeah, okay, rock sexy dirty. That's the knack that we'll I have. Yeah. So if people want to hear more of your rock sexy dirty sound, they can get your EP for free on your website, can't they? Uh you can download a track for free, yeah. Um Liar Liar. Yeah. Um which is off the EP, which is four songs off our album. Yeah. Uh, which is out now. It came out in April. Um, yeah. So, yeah. but you can download that. And there's a there's a free remix of our first single, "Stitch Yourself Up," on there as well. Oh, okay, I didn't so, see that. And okay. um, or it, it will be up or should oh. be up. Um, <laughs> but it, it will be. Um, and yeah, so I mean, there, there there will be little tracks probably. You know, we have we have tracks we've recorded that didn't make the record as well. Yeah. So we'll probably you know just give away stuff. Oh, like that's that exciting. Well. But, okay. um, but you know, over, over time. Well, yeah, on the um, freebie theme, mm-hmm. um, what is the best thing that you've got for free? Uh, probably probably that guitar, probably that Les Paul. Oh, fair yeah. enough. That's, um, it's nice yeah, to get a free guitar. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. It's also the heaviest thing I've ever got for free. Heaviest? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the good thing, usually the good thing with being a fan is um, you get lots of tickets for free to gigs, mm-hmm. usually, you know, guest list. We don't um, tend to, the we're pretty lucky that way, so um, yeah, we're kind of spoiled, but uh, that's that's pretty awesome, you know, being able to go and see a lot of bands, you know, we're lucky that way. So. Yeah. What's the most rock and roll thing you've done so far? Either in this band again or separate band? Oh dear, um, where do I start? We, it depends what you mean. Yeah, we, I haven't thrown any TVs or the windows or anything like that. Do you not? No, no. But we've had our fair share of fun. Um, probably nothing repeatable, but, um, you know, nothing more than any other band does. Okay. You know, it comes with the territory. Um, fair you know, enough. You have fun fair on the road. Um, and, uh, but the most, you know, probably thing we've done is probably just being a band. And then another band. Yeah. And start another band, yeah. yeah. Is it weird starting a new band or are you enjoying the new challenge? Um, it's not strange at all, you know, because it, got, it, got, it came together very naturally. You know, we'd all been talking about making a record for individually and collectively. You know, we all knew each other a long time, so we talked about doing something together and I approached the guys and they were all up for it. So, um, it, it, it's, it has been challenging, yeah, but in the, in the best possible way. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's, I think it's healthy and essential to, to work with other people with these stuff. Yeah, definitely. And we've had a lot of fun doing it. And, you know, we're, we're all still, you know, I'm still in the Snow Patrol and the lads are still working and, and on other projects and other bands. So Is everyone still in their bands then? Um, some are, yes. And um, some have left those bands. and uh, they, they've, they, they left them before they joined us. So okay, yeah, there's nothing. Uh, <laughs> they, they haven't run out in anyone. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it's, yeah, it's been great. And, you know, we're having a lot of fun. Okay. It does always present a new challenge each time you work with different people. Mm. So you never actually know what you're what you're going to get. Yeah. All. You can sort of have a vague idea of what might happen, but you never ever have a clue. So you just have to get in the room and see if there's a spark really, and that spark turn into a flame, and then before you know it, you're <laughs> so on you're fire. All on fire at the moment. Then. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. Boiling. Okay. That would be another good way. Band on fire. The three words to describe your sound. So, what's the best gig? Fire on band. Or <laughs> fire band on, yeah. <laughs> what's the best gig that you guys have played so far? Because you've already played with some pretty big names. Jimmy Eat World, Nine Inch Nails, Biffy Cairo, and yeah. we're scientists tonight. So yeah, yeah, yeah we've been, it's been great. You know, we've been incredibly fortunate at such an early stage. You know, I know we've all done this for a long time, but we've, yeah, we, we, we've been, you know, blessed with, with, with supports and festival slots yeah. that we're getting. So far, some of my favourites have been uh, supporting Queen's Stone Age. Was we had a really good gig that night. Um, C Sessions in Ireland just recently. Yeah, yeah had a great fun. show. Um, so yeah, there's for different reasons, but um, I mean they've all been great, you know. But uh, but there's there are a few that stand out, and those two particularly for me were just the chemistry was right. So. Do you prefer playing in Ireland, or is it just? Well, o- only because it's home. Yeah. You know, so, so it's all slightly special, different. Yeah. Awesome. But I mean, you know, I, I've been, you know, certainly fortunate with. Them around the UK and Scotland I lived there for a long time so we kind of got you know three hometown shows now yeah. you know, Glasgow, Dublin 
Belfast. Um, nice. But you, yeah, so call us greedy, but um, <laughs> but it's great. You know, Ireland's a bit more fun because the, you know, um, it's home where we grew up. You know, family and friends are there, so but for, for no more reason than that. Really. Yeah, and you have the, the added bonus that you can speak at the regular rate of speech when you're talking in Ireland because <laughs> you didn't get the blank yeah, face yeah, quite yeah, so much back then. Yeah, yeah, no, we. Uh, I've had that problem a few times with with, with with kind of talking to the audience, where I kind of slip back into to, to Irish, full on Irish mode, and you can see the blank stares. Yeah. You know, um, but so yeah, I need to talk slower. You already played some great gigs already, but you've yeah. got a few more exciting things coming up. For example, Reading Festival. Yeah. You looking forward to that? Absolutely. Yeah. That that is definitely. Yeah. One of the ones we looking that and Tea in the Park specifically yeah. are the ones we're really looking forward to. Something I really wanted for this band from the start was to, to do the, the festivals, you know, because it's the best way for us to mm. connect, connect and, and to show people what we're about and to a much bigger audience and wider audience than, than we will at our own club shows, you know. Yeah. And that's also like supports are great, but um, but yeah, I mean, this is the first time I, I've played running. Um, have you played it before? Yep, I've played it before. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I haven't played it with, with, with Snow Patrol either, so it's um, to come with this band and um, with this music and at the time we're doing it, it, it just feels right. And uh, mm. yeah, and I'm really, really I'm thrilled. It's great. It is, and it's something we hoped for yeah, at the start, but you can yeah, never really know. I think Reading's kind of a goalpost. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, it's almost it's cocky to think, you know, we want to get there. <laughs> but uh, if you don't aim high, no, you, 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 should aim high, you can't get it. So. I'm guessing you guys have got a lot of experience uh, between you and the band. Who do you say? You would think that, wouldn't you? Do you think we knew what we're doing? I know not all of you are here, but maybe is another band member maybe a bit more, or would you say it's one of you two? Um, well, the, let's, let's just say our collective experience is um, is well, I wouldn't want to add it up. Um, <laughs> yeah, it would be, it would be over um, thirty years or something or more. Yeah, um, probably if you add it all together. Our collective experience as a band is probably. Maybe a half of Mick Jagger's. Which <laughs> I like which using that as a half. Yeah, yeah, there half we go. Mick Jagger. Yeah, we're, 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 we're about a half of Mick Jagger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're half about Jagger, half nice. a Jagger. <laughs> half a Jagger of experience. <laughs> yeah. I like that. What bands have been the biggest influence to Little Masters so far? I don't know uh, directly. I mean, you know, even at the time of making this record, you know, I've listened to things like The Kills and Band of Skulls and. You know, Sun Kill Moon, all sorts of different things. But um, I guess early on, it, it was you know, rock music influenced us growing up. You know, bands yeah. like Pixies and Nirvana, suppose is where we started, and, and classic rock as well. But I don't. It's hard to pinpoint with a lifetime. You, of yeah, rock exactly. Then. You know, and we just we you know, <clears throat> I think everyone's brought those influences probably subconsciously, and we try not to think about them too much while making the record. But yeah. Um, but they, they, they come out and they seep through because it's, it's natural, you know. But um, but we try not to, to push any of them or fight against any of them. So. That was a lot of it, yeah. It was just whatever. Because it was all just us in a room, you know, so whatever sort of happened, happened. And, you know. I mean, we're making a record that we wanted to listen to, you know, it's a cliche, but it's something that we enjoyed and yeah. that's just what came out. I present a rock show mm -hmm. and uh, I like to do fun facts okay. in between uh, the songs I play. So I was wondering if you could give me a fun fact for your band so I can use it next time and it will be official because obviously I use the internet. Well, yeah, the end of everything you've read about us on the internet is true. Everything. everything. All of it. Um, wow. It's completely <coughs> true. <laughs> I haven't uh, found anything that bad. So no? Okay. Well, that's <laughs> all lies. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we're boring. Yeah, well, fun fact for me, uh, Dave was in the first episode of Game of Thrones. Really? Um, fun fact. Yeah. Wow, so, that's uh, a fun fact. That, yeah, that's great. So you can, we'll not tell you where you gotta, you gotta look out for. You have to have a look for the, oh, the side of my head. head. Okay. I will now. Yeah. yeah, I'll start watching yeah. it just for that. I need to watch <laughs> one episode of yeah. that. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, it's the first episode, yeah. so yeah. Church crap yeah. after that, anyway. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's cool. It was, a, it was a fun day. It was a long day. It was a fun day. I've never. I never had mud on me for so long. <laughs> not even at a festival. Not even at a festival. Wow. Yeah. That's it. Fair cool. enough. There you go. Okay. And so Nathan, mm -hmm. you're now considered the lead of this band. Mm -hmm. That's obviously different to your uh, support role in Snow Patrol. How has that been for you? Yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, it's something that I'm really enjoying. It was never something I set out to do, you know, initially years yeah. ago to be to be a frontman or to. to um, I mean, I instigated the band for sure, um, but you know, everyone 
as far as writing goes and as far as you know things that like everyone's got different strengths and you know uh, you use those and um, which helps when you're kind of being the main focus and kind yeah. of you know from a better analogy you know when you kind of mm-hmm. you realize you've got to steer the ship a little more especially you know when you're on stage and stuff so it, it's a different headspace definitely you but, enjoying um, it though? but i am yeah and, and you know we're still still uh, having fun with it and learning it and um but yeah but it's definitely different than you know you, when you're just being a guitar player you can kind of especially a guitar player i think you can exist in your you know Space. little bubble yeah. and, and, and on stage and you know you're still connected but you have a lot more freedom um when you're kind of focusing on the front that there's yeah. enough different responsibilities i guess do you have a pre-show ritual yeah i warm up from the vocals yeah for this one. that's another thing that has been um uh, i've had to kind of uh, be a, a little more aware of mm. is, is yeah look at that in voice so yeah i uh, warm up um but yeah I mean, you know we we all have a little huddle and a hug before we go on. You know. Oh, lovely! Um, it's, it's it's a manly hug though. Manly hug. Yeah, yeah. it's like not a sweet. Hug. Yeah, like, there's no yeah. kissing or anything. It's really. <laughs> we save that till after. Just to end, yeah. what is your plans for next year, and what song are you thinking will be the next one? Could you give us an exclusive? Um, we'll next year. Well, for the rest of the year, we'll hopefully be back out after the summer. There'll be some yeah. of our own shows. Um, if we can get another support, that would be great as well. So um, next year, I'll probably be back with Snow Patrol at some point. Um, but until then, yeah, we, we just want to play as much as we can with this band and get you know the record out to as many people as possible. So. Um, as far as the next single, we're actually deciding on that right now. Oh, okay. So, um, we're, so you don't want to... Well, well, literally because we're between two songs. Mm. But yeah, so hopefully that, and then, you know, we'll be touring for the rest of the year. Yeah. Um, once we get the festivals out of the way, so, um, yeah. Are you thinking of maybe going to the rest of Europe or America? Or uh, no, I mean, that, that, you know, realistically, you know, with, with all the other projects and bands that we're in, you know, yeah. that, that will require a little more time. And you know, um, you know, who knows? And we're not saying no because it, it would be great to, to, to venture beyond the UK and Ireland. Um, but for now, we're concentrating here. So. Hi, this is Dave from Little Matador, and you're listening to Junction Eleven Radio.